This is Minitune, Bowtie aficionado and the developer who holds the title of fastest game to reach 1 billion visits on Roblox. Accumulating numerous awards and being celebrated as one of the most influential developers the platform has ever seen, Minitune has continuously produced vibrant storylines in some of the most legendary games on Roblox. Now, to begin we have to go back to where it all be- not just kidding, you really thought I was going to start every video the exact same way? Well, you're actually completely right because originality is hard. But anyways, Minitune got his start on Roblox way back in the ancient times, joining on November 24th, 2011. That's over 10 years ago. I just got to say though, he's not more ancient than me because I joined on September 9th, 2010, subtle flex. So that makes me cooler by default, I'm going to be honest. Bruh. Minitune began learning how to make Roblox games very early. Getting started with scripting, he initially downloaded free models, essentially ripping them apart to learn how the code works and piecing them back together piece by piece. Eventually, using this knowledge, Minitune decided that he was finally ready to release his first project, a game known as Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese. This game would be Minitune's first small taste of success given that it was his first game to reach over 100k visits, which many new devs consider a massive milestone. Honestly, it was actually pretty fun. It's very similar to the super popular Five Nights at Freddy's games as you can probably see. However, I still think that Minitune did a good job putting his own spin on the popular classic. Like for real, you guys absolutely cannot tell me that you did not get Five Nights at Freddy's vibes when this dude walked out at your fifth birthday party. My man Chuck was definitely the OG nightmare fuel and I will die on that hill. He soon began to establish connections with other developers in the community, all the while learning as much as he could regarding Roblox game development. He continued learning for a few years, creating a few less notable smaller projects to improve on his scripting and building, but these few years of learning definitely helped propel his career forward immensely, eventually resulting in the release of a few SCP games. These games are actually still out today, featuring a small but very dedicated player base. Site 35 was the former of these two games, featuring a traditional round-based player versus player SCP game. As you can see here in the lobby, there are tons of people that contributed to this project. You can even see Minitune up there, although I'm not too sure what's going on with his outfit at the moment. You'd have to ask the man huh? himself for that one. Next, SCP Containment Breach, released around a year later with similar gameplay but immensely more content. It quite clearly took heavy inspiration from a similar game by the same name, but regardless, it's extremely fun and pretty well made. Also, as a small little side note, there is actually a now private game that Minitune released all the way back in 2017 called Potate Game. You could play as Mr. P from Piggy well before the actual game was released, and this means that Mr. P was likely one of the first models ever made for the game. As I said, it's now private, but luckily our favorite Piggy YouTuber Creekcraft got access a few years ago and what was in the game was pretty funny. OG Roblox players instantly recognized the map, which was actually ripped straight from those Survive Area 51 games that were popular for a while. But anyways, I'm not sure what the actual point of this game was given that there was just random gear strewn everywhere, but I think it's still definitely interesting to see one of the earliest appearances of a Piggy character on Roblox. These two games would serve as Minitune's foundation within the horror genre on Roblox. While they were moderately successful, they would absolutely pale in comparison to the success that Minitune would have just a few short years later. One day he was messing around in various Peppa Pig horror games on Roblox and decided that he could take this idea and run with it. And run with it he did. Piggy released on January 20. 2020 to a landslide of success. With the release of Piggy, Minitune added arguably the most recognized chapter in the entire game, which he titled House. Players absolutely loved it, falling in love with the simple gameplay loop and consistently coming back to find out what happens next in the storyline. Minitune did not let the hype die, as he would go on to consistently release chapters almost weekly over the next few months. He had built a horror gaming empire, but this would just be the beginning for Piggy. On April 15th, 2020, not even three months after the game released, Piggy would be crowned with the title of fastest game to reach 1 billion visits on the entire platform. A title which Piggy actually still holds to this day. Minitune immediately took to Twitter to thank his community for all of the support, stating that the Piggy community is entirely responsible for his success. I just gotta say, what a good dude. Regardless of this seemingly overnight celebrity status bestowed upon him, Minitune did not let off the gas whatsoever. He continued putting out consistent updates with the end of book 1 capitulating towards the end of May in chapter 12. Millions of people joined the game to witness the epic conclusion to Piggy's three month journey so far and it would not disappoint. Videos of Piggy's ending in chapter 12 were accumulating millions of views across social media, and it left players with one burning question. What would be next for Piggy? Minitune would soon answer this question with the release of Build Mode, a unique feature that allowed players to create their own maps in Piggy. It also served as a sort of distraction to keep players entertained until Minitune could get Book 2 finished. Book 2, Chapter 1, released on September 12th, 2020, and marked what I would consider to be the beginning of the end for Piggy. As the game's storyline was becoming increasingly 
increasingly complex and difficult to follow for Piggy's mostly younger audience. However, I would just like to clarify that when I say the beginning of the end, I'm referring to a downturn in player count, not saying that the game died. After all, Piggy still averages like 30,000 players some days, so if that's dead, sign me up. Minitune kept releasing story chapters as well as creating unique seasonal events within the game. In October, Piggy had its first Halloween event, a trend that would continue with other major holidays in the upcoming years. This was around the time that Piggy began to expand into the real world, most prominently in the form of toys and other merchandise. In collaboration with various toy companies, Minitune released a ton of action figures, plushies, and more. I'm sure if you've walked into your local Walmart and headed over to the toy section lately, you've likely seen an entire segment of the aisle dedicated exclusively to Piggy toys. Piggy was continuing to revolutionize Roblox gaming, further reinforcing its status as a cult classic on Roblox. There were even Piggy building sets that came out in late 2020, and as someone who absolutely loved LEGO as a kid, I think that's pretty cool. Each Piggy toy came with a redeemable DLC code that gave you in-game skins and currency along with your toy. The recognizable characters reimagined in the form of toys coupled with the in-game incentives resulted in the merchandise practically flying off the shelves. Overall, Minitune has released dozens of merchandise items over the past few years, and honestly, you know you've made it when your toys are in stores like Target and Walmart. And you never know, maybe one day I'll have my own plushies in Walmart. It was around this time when Minitune largely began to slow down with updates. Instead of the weekly releases we saw in book one, updates were sometimes taking over a month to come out. Finally, on November 24th, 2022, Minitune released the sad but inevitable series of tweets that had been expected for a while now. Piggy would no longer be updated. Citing reasons such as creative limitation, feeling burnt out, and just an overall loss of love for the game, Minitune announced his departure from working on Piggy. The Piggy fanbase was absolutely absolutely devastated, but luckily Minitune didn't leave us in the dark as he confirmed that other games were in the works as well. Further Piggy Intercity and Iron Assault updates were implied, as well as a brand new story-based series. And in all honesty, if Piggy taught us anything, it's that we should be on the edge of our seats for any new Minitune game. And I'm genuinely excited to see what he has in the works. While the initial hype has largely died down, Minitune hasn't let that stop him from creating experiences. In fact, just this month, Piggy had a collaboration with one of the most legendary metal bands of all time, Metallica. It just goes to show that Regardless of current player count, a game's legacy is ultimately what is taken into consideration for partnerships. Even today, just as I'm wrapping up editing this video, Minitune has announced a new partnership with U2s, posting this teaser on Twitter. Overall, Minitune is largely applauded for not having excessive game passes and other microtransactions in his games. He simply created games coming from a love of development. I think that this is the best way to go about things, because if you do what you love consistently, more often than not the money will come eventually. To sum things up, Minitune has proven time and time again that he is one of the most legendary developers developers the platform has ever seen. He's just a genuinely good person and has proven that while success can take time, it is entirely achievable with dedication, hard work, and perseverance. All it takes is a silly game idea inspired by Peppa Pig. And with that, please subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Also this really cool guy named Pierre says to join my Discord so you guys should totally like go down to the description and click that link at the top of it. Anyways, love you, bye.